So, if you don't know, Redbubble is a website for creators to upload designs, which the company will then print onto every different product ever, basically, and ship out for you. This means the only thing the artist has to do is create, upload, edit a little bit maybe, and you're done. I already knew that Redbubble was pretty cool. I mean, like, my Halloween costume from last year and, like, seven of my posters are from Redbubble. So I decided to utilize this extremely easy process and made six designs for myself so far. I chose six because I wanted to have what I felt would be the right amount to put in a sticker pack, which I did. Before all this, though, I was just kind of sitting there, bored. I'd just been drawing in my sketchbook for, like, weeks, and I felt like switching it up. So I sat down and drew this little guy. I wanted it to be quick, like in one sitting. I didn't worry too much about making super clean line art. I didn't worry too much about rendering it out super realistic, you know. And I also didn't really worry too much about how realistic it was. And I think I kind of said that with the rendering, but even like the sketching, I didn't try and make the portions 100% correct. I just wanted it to be cute. So as I was finishing up, I realized something. I could post this on Redbubble. So I did, and it was very easy. And a few of my family even bought like my shirts and stuff, which made me realize that making designs for Redbubble is actually super fun. So I kept going. And I kept up the little cottagecore theme. Um, the next thing I drew was this little gardener frog. I think this one is the most elaborate because of all the other stuff that's in the frame, I guess, in the drawing, uh, other than the main little guy like uh, all the tomatoes and the watering cans and the, even the little, what is that? Like a shovel? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I just, all, all the other ones don't like have objects associated with them, but I wanted this one to look like a little farmer. So I put a lot of stuff, farming stuff. After that, I drew this snail. Um, I actually had quite a bit of trouble making this because, well, actually the sketch was really easy and it went by super fast, as you can see. But uh, the painting, the painting was what was hard. Because at first I wanted to make this snail white and like it was not working out. But after that, uh, I figured it out and I just made him brown. I wanted to draw this in the first place because of that one video, you know, where they're like, they're all eating the, the cucumbers, all the snails. Um, After that, I drew this little chick. This one is simultaneously the most realistic and my least favorite, not gonna lie. But I don't know if there's a correlation there. I just think it's like a little creepy looking for some reason. But maybe that's because I was on FaceTime with my friends while I was drawing this and we were talking about the movie Tusk. And now I'm like associating them. So, I don't know, it's probably just me. After that, I drew what I think is actually my favorite out of all of them. This little lamb. I just really like the colors that I used for this one. Something about like, I don't know, something about the whole cottagecore color palette is like one of my favorite color palettes, literally just of all time. I just like colors a lot. I love art. I love that this is my hobby. You know what? I'm just going on a tangent right now, but can I just say that for once and for all? Like this is like the most fun hobby ever. I feel like I would be saying that if I had an, any other hobby though, but cause like confirmation bias or whatever, but this is literally so fun. I love art. And finally, I drew this little duck wearing a hat. This one was the fastest to make by far. Oh my gosh, I sat down, boom, I was done. It was so fast. And it was super easy to color in because it was just feather color, beak color, and, or I guess bill color, and hat color. If you want to make your own designs, just do it. It's so fun. You just gotta remember to set it on a transparent background. So your design isn't just on like a white square when you upload it. Also, to make sticker packs, because I didn't know this, all you gotta do is just put a bunch of designs on the same canvas and Redbubble will split them up for you if they're uh, far enough apart. I had enough designs to make a sticker pack, so I finally decided to post about it on my Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and uh, here. Cottagecore is just a really cute aesthetic and I like it a lot. So I wanted to make a little pack of designs that reflected that. Now though, it's time to get spooky.